Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting. I've got a bit of a new setup going on in my craft room. My craft room has moved from downstairs to upstairs. Um, so I've got a new table and I've got more space, but I haven't actually got anywhere to put anything. So it's a little bit of a mess. Apart from this bit, what's going on here is total carnage, but because I've had to bring everything up from downstairs. So we'll see how we go. So I've got another project where it's Share It Sunday and my very lovely crafty friends, Vicky Lou Designs and Crafty Karen Designs. Um, it was Karen's turn this time to come up with a theme and she came up with punch art. Um, I had no idea what she was talking about until I searched it on Pinterest and oh my word, absolutely recommend that you just, if you love crafting and you have punches, go and look at punch art on Pinterest. It is absolutely amazing what you can do. Um, these aren't stuck on here, that is, but these aren't. Um, these were the ones that really took my eye. I've got something else going on as well. So I thought what I would do is maybe do this over a couple of videos. Um, I'm going to start with this one just because I think it's my favourite, um, but I've also got a flower design and I want to do something with that. So this is more about the technique itself rather than putting a card together. But I'm going to start with this. None of these techniques are my idea. There are just things that I've picked off Pinterest. Um, and then you can see that other people have had a go at them as well. I don't know where the ideas originate from. Um, I just think they are so much fun. I'm going to start with this one. We could have quite a few videos with this. I think I could get quite addicted with this. Um, I'm going to see how I get on. I've got a new table which might, I'm hoping it's not going to be too wobbly and I'm hoping as well that I'm always in shot. I cannot see my camera so every now and again I'm going to have to stand up and just check that I'm in shot. Anyway, let me show you what we're doing here. So I've got a piece of DSP here. I'm going to put it on a card um, so without literally throwing everything on the floor. Um, I think I'm going to start with some very vanilla cardstock. Uh, let's just get a card base going first. Let's get that out of the way. And get a card base. This is definitely a better setup I've got here. Um, if I can just not have too much table wobble, um, I think this is going to be a lot better to show you videos, but we'll see how we go. So I've got a piece of A4 cardstock so this is UK A4, um, and then I'm just going to uh, trim that right down the middle at five and seven eighths. Just put that to one side, and then I'm going to score. If I can pick this up. I'm then going to score at four and an eighth. So there is my standard card base, and that is in very vanilla, but you could have any colour you like. Just put that to one side. So there's my card base in very vanilla. And then I've got, now this, I really like this uh, DSP. It comes from the Press Petals DSP. So that's what's on the back, which uh, isn't really my cup of tea. Uh, but that is, a nice bit of wood going on there. Um, and I've got another project using this as well. It's, it's really good if you just want to give that nice woody texture. So I've got that going on. Um, and I chose that because the idea that I saw on Pinterest used um, kind of a woody texture behind it. So I'm just going to get some glue on too. I'm just going to get some glue on that. I'm just using um, Tombow here. But any glue will, will suffice. This DSP isn't as thick as the other DSPs, so you don't want to put too much glue behind this. So this piece of DSP measures five and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm just going to get that on there. You can do more layering if you like, entirely up to you. So we've got that on there. So let's now go to our mouse, which I've now dismembered over here. Put that to one side. So what I've got is a piece of, I think this is smoky slate, but any grey um, any grey cardstock will be absolutely fine. So I've got from the Heart Duo Punch, which is at the moment in our mini catalogue, you are going to take one of those like that. 
then using the two inch circle punch, we'll punch out a circle. So what you've got then is a heart and a circle. Now before I do anything else with this, I want to get a sponge dauber and the Smoky Slate ink. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. It just gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of dimension. So let's just load up my dauber and then I'm just going to, just on the outside there like that, just the very, very outside. And just go all the way around. And then you're going to do the same, if I can pick it up, you're going to do the same with the heart shape as well, especially around the ears. That's where I really want to get this. This is going to be the ears section. It just makes it a little less flat. Don't go all the way around because we're going to colour the... This bit here is going to be its, its nose. So let's put that to one side, shut that before I do anything drastic with it. So we're going to decide where we're going to put our mouse. So I think I'm going to start with a circle pretty much in the middle. And then what happens is that as soon as you put that heart on there, and so it's just slightly forward straight away, it takes on that mouse, uh, that mouse shape. But before we do anything else, you just need to very slightly curve these up. So they just form the ears. Try and curve it without it creasing. The problem with card, it tries to crease even if I did this with a bone folder, which I've left downstairs. It's, it's still going to crease. So just push those up a little bit and then that sits on there like that. And I'm going to get, I've got over here, it's just a pink Sharpie. I'm just going to colour in the very, very end of its nose with that pink. If you've got some pink cardstock, then use some pink cardstock. That would be absolutely fine. So now I know that that's where that's going to sit. I'm going to glue that circle down. Because what I want to do, I've got this, this is, I can never remember what this is called. It's called the braided linen trim and it's lovely. And what I want to do is I want to leave the tail quite free and I'm just going to pop that underneath there and then just push that down. Just leave that tail there and we'll see. we might have to just, perhaps with a um, mini glue dot, just stick that down there. I don't know if you can hear that. The weather outside is absolutely dreadful. It's just awful. Another storm has come in um, and it's just horrendous outside. Uh, so now I'm going to stick that down. So obviously don't put glue on the back of the ears, just glue here. Stick that down like that. Now, of course, not everybody likes mice, but some people do. And I just think this is cute. Kids like mice, don't they? Do they? My kids are all grown up now. I don't know what kids do like. So, last thing to put on here are some eyes. So I've just got some basic black cardstock. You can see where I've been, um, where I've been doing the ladybird. And I've just got, I haven't got anything like a crocodile or anything like that. I've just got this little single hole punch. And I'm just going to punch out two small circles. 
this is a little bit tricky for me because I've got shocking eyesight. My nails are too long, um, so I've got tweezers to pick up my to pick up my eyes. I'm just gonna have a rough idea where they're going to go first. I think that's okay so let's put some glue on the back of those or you might want to use a mini glue dot entirely up to you whatever you use it's going to be fiddly just make sure you've got it in the right spot before you then stick that down and then if you're super clever you then might want to get some some white ink maybe and just put a little bit of white in there but I'm not going to do that I'll probably end up giving my mouse a really startled look so I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead and just oh I've got a little bit of splodge there let's get that off so there's my mouse and I'm going to leave that tail there and if if when I finish putting the card together it's not quite right then I'll just get in fact, should we just, oh, this is where it could all go horribly wrong. I'm going to put, the, well, I was hoping there was going to be a tiny bit of glue there. And then I'm just going to stick that down. And I'm not going to press too much because it's going to ooze out. But there we are. So there's our little mouse. We better put some sort of sentiment on there. I don't know what yet. What have I got? I've only brought up one stamp set with me, and that is the beautiful bouquet. And we have got a happy birthday on there. What should we have? I think we'll go for the thanks a bunch. I don't know what that's got to do with the mouse, but there we are. That's, that's it. That is what it is. Now all I've got to do is find my ink block. And I think we'll have another circle for this, but we'll get this stamped down onto, uh, onto card first. So there's my very vanilla card. This is gonna be quite a simple card. Um, so ideal for a beginner. some memento ink actually let's try some let's see what smoky slate looks like on very vanilla just keep the whole theme going then so that fits quite nicely in the one and a half inch circle punch And I'm just going to put that in there. You couldn't get a more simple card. So if you are a if you are a beginner crafter or a beginner card maker, this is easy peasy. We've got three different punches. We've got the two inch circle punch, one and a half inch circle punch, and we've got one of the hearts from the um, heart duo punch. But to be honest, you could make your own heart. You can make your own circles. It's, you know, it's entirely up to you but there we go there's one card so that's going to um, I'll write a blog that goes with that that has all the product details and all the measurements in there and I'll also leave a link to uh, Victoria's blog that's uh, Vicky Lou Designs and also to Karen's blog Crafty Karen Designs and they've also been having a go with punch art as well so pop along and see those and see what they've been getting up to um, I'm also going to do a video with the Lazy Bird and I've got a flower one coming up. I can't show you my um, my sample because it's absolutely shocking, um, but I'll, I've got addicted absolutely to punch art. So if you fancy having a go, um, please let me know that you've done that um, and go along and visit my blog. Details are in the description bar. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.